Hello, hello there. This is Strategic Change Guide Podcast and it's Motivational Monday by Jim and Lucy. Hi, my name is Jim and I just want you to think about something as we begin the new year. That this is a great time for you to think about making some changes in your self-image. Because we want to create a whole new person right now. There's a lot of things you're doing that are absolutely phenomenal. You've been doing a great job. You work really hard. And there are a lot of your, many of your goals that you actually accomplished. In fact, you ought to give yourself a pat on the back right now. Because one thing you have done that's really important is that you haven't quit. And the fact that you're still there trying every day. You go to work. You take care of the family, the wife, the kids, the husband, significant others. You're doing all these things, even family members, and you don't complain. You don't whine. You just get up, pick up the heavy load, and just keep moving on. You're doing a lot of things that's really, really good. But a couple of little small tweaks that you can handle, that you can make some adjustments on, one is that's right before you is improving your self-image. And the great Mark Twain once had a, had a quote that said, uh, humor is a good nature side of truth. And that really is true. So find some things in this new com- this coming year that you can laugh about. And as you go out this coming year, the old year, and put on the new year, just don't look back and say, boy, I missed this one, or I should have done this one, or I should have zagged when I, instead of zigging. No, look back and tell yourself, I did a great job. I'm on the right path. I'm on the right track. I made the best decisions that I could have, but next year, doggone it, it's going to be a better year. One of the ways you can do that is just think of this little small story. Now, bear in mind, it's not a true story. In fact, it's a good thing it is a true story, and you can be able to see why in just a moment. So one of the stories that I'm really fond of telling is a man who went to see a fortune teller one day. She looked into a crystal ball and she sa- and said, you will be poor and unhappy until you're 45 years old. Then what will happen, the man asked, hopefully. Maybe he was thinking he's going to get windfall, win the lottery or something and be really, really lucky. And she gazed into the crystal ball this time a little bit longer and then she said, you will get used to it. Now just imagine that. We hope that isn't true, but just imagine it. With our self-image is that sometimes we do get used to certain things. On the outside, we're really hungry, we're really, we're really excited, and we're, we're dressing the part. But deep down inside, once we get home, we put the clothes in the hanger again, and we go back and we sit in the easy chair and become our normal self. Well, it's true because one of the things we cannot do, we cannot run faster than our self-image of ourselves. We can't. If we think we have an awful relationship, guess what? We're going to have an awful relationship. We think that marriage is going to be miserable tomorrow. Guess what? We'll do everything in our power to make the marriage miserable tomorrow. We think we can't lose weight in the summertime bathing suit season. Is Here we go. And we think we're never going to lose that stubborn body fat. Well, guess what? We're never going to lose it because that's the way our self-image is. We're always going to be eating the wrong food. We're always going to be associating with the wrong people because we feel that is what we deserve. You know, that's the old you. The new you wake up with a smile on your face and you're confident that I can make these changes and I'm going to do it. That's exactly for you. And that's exactly for you to do right now, today, this day, this week and this month because again we are at that time of the year when all of us a start thinking about what have we achieved and what are we planning and want to get in the new year and that will be new year will be good and will be this and that and we start dreaming and all of this and we also a bit relaxed because there, this is the holiday season the Thanksgiving is coming the Christmas is coming and we're gonna meet friends and family and celebrate and relax with some wines and champagnes all of this is very cool but you need to be prepared for everything and this is one of the ways to prepare to fix your self-image fix understanding of yourself because you deserve more and the way you think of yourself this is the way the others will see it and this is the way the life will be treating you and you will say this is bad fate, bad fate or bad this, bad that 
none of that. This is only you and you can fix it today, this week. So this week for you is to fix your self-image. We are here for you to help. We have a lot of new offers. We have a year-long coaching program specially for you. We have peak performance program just for you to make things done to, because you can do much more in the same 24 hours in a day. And we also have a surprise for you, WKG 2020 Planner, the one that will help you achieve more. All for you in our website, woodskavalovagroup.com. We are here for you every Monday to give you a tip and to give you a guide. So fix your self-image this week. And we will talk to you on next Monday. Hey, and don't forget to smile. Because there's a lot of things that you're doing that's great. You're a fantastic person and you've had a tough life. But you know what? The best is, is coming ahead of you. Be good. <laughs>